Hello friends, welcome back to another video. In this video, we will go through an important Azure service which is Azure Storage. And this will be useful if you are preparing for an Azure Administrator role as well. Now, what is Azure Storage? Azure Storage is a Microsoft managed cloud service that provides scalable, durable, and highly available storage for a variety of data types it includes services such as blob sto storage, file storage, queue storage, table storage, and disk storage. Each tailored for specific use case like storing unstructured data, managing files, handling messaging queues, storing structured NoSQL data, and managing virtual machine disks. The type of questions which we can expect from an interviewer uh, during uh, the interview which is related to Azure storage they are basic questions then he or she might move to a set of technical questions scenario based question best practice questions and then behavioral question so let's begin with the basic questions what are the different types of storage accounts in Azure Azure offers several types of storage accounts including General Purpose V2, GP V2, supports all Azure storage services and features offering the latest Azure storage features at a low cost. The second one, General Purpose V1, GP V1, older type that supports most services typically used for compatibility purpose. Blob storage account is specialized for storing blob data, providing performance options like hot, cool, and archive tier. Next, file storage account is specialized for storing and sharing files via SMB protocol. Block blob storage accounts optimized for workloads with high transactions rate and large data size such as video processing. The next question, what is Azure Blob Storage and what are its type? Azure Blob Storage is a service for storing large amount of unstructured data such as text or binary data. Blob Storage is ideal for storing files, backups, logs and more. The three types of blobs are block blobs optimized for streaming and storing documents, media files and backups. Append block optimized for append operations suitable for logging data. Page blobs optimized for random read write operations typically used for virtual machine disk. Now we will move to the Next section, which is technical questions. So the first technical question could be, how do you manage access to Azure storage? Access to Azure storage can be managed using several methods. So to begin with, shared access signatures, SAS, provides temporary limited access to storage resources. The second, Azure Active Directory, Azure AD, which is also called as Intra-AD, allows role-based access control RBAC for managing permissions. Storage Account Keys, provide full access to all data in the storage account used for legacy application and or internal setup. The next option is Network Security. Use virtual network rules, service endpoints, and private endpoints to restrict network access. The next question. Explain the different redundancy options available in Azure Storage. Azure Storage provides multiple redundancy options to ensure data durability and high availability. Local redundant storage, LRS, Keep three copies of data within a single data center. So in LRS, the data would be stored only on the, will, be, will have three copies. However, they will be on the same data center of Azure. 
जोन रिटेंडेंट स्टोरेज जेड आर एस कीप्स थ्री कॉपीज ऑफ डेटा अक्रॉस मल्टीपल एवेबिलिटी जोन विद इन द सेम रीजन एंड देन वी हैव जियो रिटेंडेंट स्टोरेज विच इज कॉल एज जी आर एस रिप्लीकेट्स डेटा टू अ सेकेंडरी रीजन प्रोवाइड सिक्स कॉपीज इन टोटल थ्री इन द प्राइमरी एंड थ्री इन द सेकेंडरी रीजन and based on the our usage we can based on the criticality of the data we can choose one of it and there would be a difference in the price which we pay or the cost which we pay to the microsoft uh, the based on the option we select so choose wisely and it should be meeting the complexity and the sensitivity of the data read access geo redundant storage ragrs same as grs but allows read access to the secondary region for high availability during regional outage the next question how can you move data to and from azure blob storage data can be moved to and from azure blob storage using various tools and methods they are azure storage explorer a graphical tool for managing and transferring data AJ copy a command line utility designed for data transfer to and from azure storage azure data factory an orchestration service for complex data movement and transformation workflows azure blob storage sdks available for various programming languages to programmatically manage blob storage azure proto portal web based interface for managing up manage for manual uploads and downloads now we will move to scenario based questions the first scenario based question could be how would you configure a highly available and disaster resilient storage solution in azure to configure a highly available and disaster resilient storage solution in azure i would use geo redundant storage grs or read access geo redundant storage ra grs to replicate data to a secondary region implement azure site recovery for disaster recovery and automatic failover utilize zone redundant storage if high availability within a single region is sufficient regularly test failover and disaster recovery procedures to ensure they work as expected implement azure backup for regular data backups and leverage azure blob versioning to maintain previous version of the blobs the next question describe a scenario where you would use azure table storage azure table storage is a no sql data store suitable for scenarios where you need to store large amount of structured non relate relational data a good use case is logging or telemetry data where you need to store millions of rows of long entries or scenario or sensor data efficiently table storage provides fast access and scalability at a low cost making it ideal for this type of workloads now we'll move to best practice questions so the first one what best practices do you follow for securing data in azure storage now how we can secure the data in store in, in azure storage best practices for securing data in azure storage includes using azure ad for identity and access management to leverage role based access control which is called rbac implementing shared access signature sas with limited permissions and expiry time for temporary access enabling encryption at rest using azure storage service encryption sse using encryption in transit by enforcing https for all data transfer implementing network security with virtual network service endpoints and private endpoints to restrict access monitoring and logging access 
using Azure Monitor, Azure Security Center, and Diagnostic Logs. The next question. How do you optimize cost for Azure Storage? To optimize cost for Azure Storage, we would do the following. Choose the appropriate storage tier, use hot, cool, or archive tiers based on the access frequency of the data. Implement lifecycle management policies. Automatically move data between tiers or delete it based on defined rules. Monitor and manage storage usage. Regularly review storage analytics and metrics to identify and remove unused or duplicate data. Use re reserved capacity. Commit to a one year or three year term for storage to receive discounts on the storage cost. Optimize data transfer. Use efficient data transfer methods such like agent copy or data box to reduce cost associated with data migration. So these are the ways where we can or how we can control the cost or optimize the cost for Azure storage. Now, there are a few behavioral questions. First one, describe a challenging Azure storage project you worked on and how you handled it. So now this is a very open-ended question and it would the response to this would vary from individual to individual. So try giving a reference of an act on, on a project which you have worked on. Uh, we will discuss on one of the examples which will help in formating the response. In a previous role, we needed to migrate a large on-premises data warehouse to Azure Blob Storage while ensuring minimal downtime and data integrity. The challenge was to transfer several terabytes of data quickly and securely. I coordinated the use of Azure Data Box for the initial bulk transfer and agent copy for incremental updates. We also set up Azure Data Factory to automate the data in injection and transformation process. Throughout the project, I maintained clear communication with stakeholders and monitored progress closely, ensuring the migration was completed on time and within budget. The next question. How do you stay updated with the latest features and best practices for Azure Storage? I stay updated with the latest features and best practices for Azure Storage by regularly reading the Azure Blob and following Microsoft official documents, participating in webinars and online training sessions offered by Microsoft and other reputed resources, engaging with the tech community through forum like Microsoft Tech Community and Stack Overflow, Attending conference and meetups focused on Azure and cloud technologies. Completing relevant certification and courses on platforms like Microsoft Teams and Coursera. Thank you. Hope this has been useful and informative and in help you in preparing for your next interview. Thank you for watching.